love. Hey, hey. This is I haven't come into the, to the stream dancing like I used to, but you know. I'm I so know. sorry I forgot. <laughs> Ah yes. <laughs> I, have the I have to end the season. End right. the season correctly. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Cup, the currently unnamed podcast. Well, we like to chill out, relax, and get you in the mood to talk about some amazing race. We put we come here first to quench your reality thirst, and we put the T in reality TV. So. Hello, I am your girl Lana, your resident diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, drink the tea, and you know I love me some tea. So if you have the tea, you know what to do. Hit me up, please. And stay mellow, everybody. Stay mellow. Oh, and I moved locations, and I left my drink in my other location, so I have nothing to drink. No! <laughs> no go get it now. Go get it now. No, I don't feel like it. Valid. It's too much. Valid. It's too much. Oh, <laughs> I got that. And I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay. Trying to mellow out as much as I possibly can, but that's not super possible today. But we're drinking uh, a lot of water because hydration is obviously important. And we're drinking the remnants of this energy drink. It's pretty decent. Oh, so the opinion changed. Oh, Your opinion has changed a little bit. Uh, and I am Jack, a college student, a coffee addict, a game designer, and a total mess. And uh, I mean, I'm just, this is the first season of The Amazing Race that I watched in full in like four or five years and uh this will definitely not be a uh this will definitely be a continuing trend of watching it in full because this was so so amazing and in terms of a drink vanilla peppermint tea just because it's late at night and i should probably start thinking about going to sleep uh the key word there is think because i'll be up for another three hours regardless me too yeah Hey, I, I actually just, still have uh, coffee. Woo! We I we just, have issues. I uh. do love the way you all can drink coffee and tea and different flavors of coffees and teas at very odd hours of the evening. Because if it were me, I'd be up for the rest of the night, and. I have to get up in the morning, so there's no way I could be drinking tea right now. No, no, no. No, no, no. no caffeine for me. But we are here not to talk about me and tea and my lack of or need for caffeine. Um, mm -hmm. We're talking about the amazing race. And like Jack said, this is going to, this has always been a continuing trend for me. I always watch the amazing race. I adore the amazing race. But this season did not disappoint. I absolutely genuinely love this season of the amazing race i had the best time watching this season i am very sad that this season is over because i'm like what am i supposed to do now it's it was so good the only thing that could have made this season finale better is if it was two hours i wanted I more i, I wanted this I, I felt like the finale should have been two hours instead of just the hour. I felt it was rushed because they only had an hour. I think of all times a, a show needs to be two hours. It should be the finale. And this was mm -hmm. so good. And I feel like they could have done a whole lot more if they had a whole lot more time. But all in all, it was just a good, good season. And this was, and the finale didn't disappoint. Not for we me. got suspense. We got intrigue. We got a lot of guitars. We got whiskey. <laughs> we got a lot of music. We got Nashville. We got suspense. I said it twice because there was a lot of it. We <laughs> got drunk people. We got a lot tourists. of drunk people. A lot people. of it. Mm -hmm. And we got the musical theme actually being part of the show. Well, I mean, if you're going to travel to Nashville for the first time for a finale, you're going to do music. You, you got to do music. It would. It yeah. only made sense for that to be 
very much involved in this finale. You going to Nashville? What else you go do in Nashville? Music and whiskey. Music, period. And they did them both. So we start. <laughs> oh my gosh, we start this season. They're all in Nashville. They get their clue. They rip it open, and they're on their way to a whiskey factory. To uh, not just any whiskey not factory. Just any whiskey factory, Jack Daniels whiskey. My wow. arms. Okay, I'm gonna put like. Uh huh. If I'm gonna drink me some whiskey, it's gonna be some Jack Daniels. It's I'm gonna not be even the good gonna stuff. Lie. Now, do you like, drink original or do you drink one of the other ones? I drink one of the others because I like me some honey jack. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you know, let me just let me make sure of something here. Uh, you get me. Mm, go ahead. I like uh, me some honey jack in my tea. Put some whoa. honey jack in my sweet tea. Period. Oh. Baby. That, that does I it. Have, I have never, and now I want to. You have to do that. I cannot legally comment on the situation. Yes, Please don't do, do that. not legally comment on the situation, Jack. Uh, Thank I, you very much. I will get. I will give my comments in. Look, yeah, no, it's too late at night to count. Like half a month. <laughs> Great. Yeah. You know what, Jack? Just write it in the private chat for me. And I won't say it was. I won't say it. I, legally, won't read there's it. nothing happening in the private chat <laughs> legally. Legally, legally. if you feel like you, any, if, if you know, uh, that's but, yeah. good enough for me. <laughs> right, but Honey Jack is my yes. favorite Jack to go to. Mine as and well. So, but if I'm going to drink, it be some Jack, some whiskey. It's going to be some Jack Daniels. Period. Yeah, but. So they go to the Jack Daniels plant. By the way, Nashville is like right above me. In, I'm in oh. Alabama. And I've been to Nashville or through Nashville plenty of times and have seen this factory. And I'm like, I really wanted to always stop at the Jack Daniels because they have these mm -hmm. tours and they have these things yeah. you can go. And I've always wanted to do it. And I've never done it because usually when I'm going through Nashville, I'm always just going through Nashville. I've never stayed in Nashville. I've always gone through yeah. going to Chicago. So, well, one day, who knows? I might tour. And it's several. They have so many factories, so many Jack Daniels factories in in Nashville and in Tennessee. Period. They have so many. It's so good. I but mean, anyway. that makes a lot of sense given it the does. fact that it's you know Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. Tennessee like it whiskey. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they 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 make songs about Tennessee whiskey. So. Ooh. Chris which I love Thank the song you very the much. Me as well. Um, as well. But they go to the factory, and no. what they have to do is label. One of them has to label the bottle mm -hmm. properly, and the other mm -hmm. has to pack the bottle. And they have to do thirty of these mm -hmm. bottles. And if it's not properly labeled, it gets rejected yeah. by the inspector. And so they have to label it, tag it, and go. So everybody gets there pretty much about the same time. It's, everybody's yeah. running in and yeah, right behind each other. Um, Claire's starting. She's labeling. And then uh, Michelle is doing the labeling for Lewis and Michelle. Mm -hmm. And then Molly mm -hmm. is doing the labeling. So they're labeling and they're doing mm -hmm. it. Claire getting rejected. Rejected. She stopped doing uh -huh. something right. Michelle rejected, rejected. She ain't doing none of them right. Like she's nope. doing none of them right. Nope. Molly is flying. Like she paid attention to how the label's supposed to go on, and she is flying. They're coming, and by the time I think Michelle or no Claire got two or three right, something like that, yeah. Molly was halfway done. They were already packing up. I think they had like five or six left. So yeah. and Michelle, by the time Michelle even got one through, they were done. The like, sisters were done. done. Yeah. The sisters were done. Molly and Emily killed that, slayed that, ran out, first out. Then they got lost. Going to the bridge. The next, the, <laughs> the, the first, the, of, first of several times on this episode, they get lost. Yeah. 
So they had which is really stuff, unfortunate. Which is crazy because honestly, they could have killed this thing. But um, they make it. They have to go to the bridge, this Nashville bridge, and I've gone over this bridge several times. And I saw it, I was like, oh, I know that bridge. <laughs> it's a great. Are bridge. you gonna go climb it the next time that you go to Nashville, Lana? <laughs> Kennedy's right here, so no, I'll just say no. But, <laughs> um, if the baby wasn't here, I would say something else. But no, 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 I'm not gonna climb a bridge. But that was crazy. So they had to climb this bridge. Crazy. I've it's that is like a really tall bridge, y'all. Like as seen yeah. in person, that is high. Three hundred three hundred foot bridge. It's high. So <laughs> they had to climb up this bridge, up this arch to this bridge to the top, and pull out a guitar pick that's in this case just sitting there, and then repel down the bridge. That was the chat. That was the next roadblock. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so Emily and Molly get lost. Der- Derek and Claire end up getting there first. Mm-hmm. Then, l- then Lewis and Michelle, they get, uh, Emily and Molly get fully lost. They get their third. And they then by pass- this point, yeah. They, they pass the park and have to go all the way around to turn around and come back. Mm-hmm. Tragic. Yeah. And then, so at this point for the roadblock, doesn't everybody, like, they're they're assigned who it is? It's like you have not completed a certain number of roadblocks. You need to complete this roadblock. It is yeah, set in Derek, stone. You're yeah, doing Derek it. Had so, to do, Derek had to do it. And I think didn't Emily also have to do it? Emily had to do it. Derek had to do it. And I think and Michelle, Michelle also, had to do it. also had to do it, I think. So they're going. Derek is demolishing this. Derek is doing a great job. Derek is wonderful. So Derek's up. Derek grabs it. Derek's down. I mean, Michelle nobody gets up it. there. Yeah. Nobody thought he was not going to do well on that. No. Michelle <laughs> gets up there who does not realize that she could just pull herself up the rope. And Emily, with one bad leg, Beats ends up her. passing her. And I just I felt so bad. Oh my gosh. It just when I, mess, mess, I felt mess. so bad. Michelle was so yeah. tired. Like she literally gassed out halfway up that bridge and just sat on the bridge like not even half, I would say a third. <laughs> she was so I'm just like baby no. And Emily's just like do 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 just walks right past her. I was just like, oh, how unfortunate. And this is the kicker for me. So Lewis is on the ground watching. He can't really see who's where or what. And when Derek comes down, he's like, okay, yep, that's Derek. Here yep. he comes. Michelle should be coming next. And when and also, nobody realized for it took a, a, a couple minutes or seconds to realize that their clue is in the guitar case. But I'm just like, what else why would, be up would there? Why would anybody leave a random guitar case sitting here? Obviously, it's for the challenge. They're looking for the people to hand them a clue, and they're like, I'm up here. Now what? Michelle, oh, and gets, Michelle gets up there and she's just like fully resting on the guitar case and is like like do I just go down like that, honey you're resting on a guitar case on a bridge look in the guitar case while it's, you're 300 feet in the air like uh, it's, it's so funny and so Lewis is like yep Michelle should be coming down next and oh, it's Emily. Emily. And Emily, he's like, is that Emily? What is, so now he's like, what is happening on top of this bridge? I have no idea. That was just funny to me. I was like, okay, so Emily comes down and her and Molly are off and they get lost again. I don't, 
Because nobody wants to stop and ask for directions. Nobody stops. They just drive. They just drive. I don't get it. Just, just. They had it. They. Here's the worst yes. part. Yes. The worst part is I can. If they just got it right, they would have been so much faster to so many of the tasks. And uh, it, it unfortunately gives like a consistent theme of yeah, no, they were bad at navigation throughout a majority of the season. This just unfortunately makes sense. Mm hmm. But yeah, so they get lost, but they turn around. And so Derek and Claire gets to the next detour or next challenge. Because I don't even think it was roadblocks and detours at this point. It's just your next task. Was, so the, the climbing the bridge was a roadblock. Mm -hmm. But we've kind of just gotten rid of detours and we're just doing tasks now. Just tasks, yes. right. So they go into and they oh, a, ba a bar and they run into the women who the country singers from not, the previous not, season not just any bar they get to the gibson garage the gibson garage i mean where gibson guitars are made and had and made. brought and sold like so so i will say as someone who does not know like anything about country music in the slightest a lot of the references this episode did go over my head Sure. So, but, but I I feel like I eventually got there, and mm -hmm. also because I didn't watch a lot of the past seasons, I just mm -hmm. thought, oh, these are just two people who play guitar. I no, there no. was no indication to me that they were previous contestants. <laughs> <laughs> My roommate didn't realize it until it literally said it on screen, and I was I immediately I was like, oh my god, I remember them. They were great. I love them. They were finalists, right? Yes. Uh, yes, they were. Let me yes, double they check. Uh, you don't have. You were, don't have to. Yeah. I, they were. You don't Fourth have to. I was like, second. they were. I was like, Lana's the Encyclopedia of Amazing Race here. Uh, I'm about to say, you, you don't have to double check. <laughs> they definitely were finalists. I yeah. I was rooting for them very hard. That's all I know. That was what season twenty four, four or five, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then All Stars. Uh, yep. It was it was Amazing Race twenty two, and then All uh, Stars in twenty fourteen. Yep. Yep. That's I love those girls. Those I seasons. thought they were. I thought they were a hoot. But yeah. They should have brought them back for the reality crossover season. I said what okay. I said. Okay. I said what I said. Uh -huh. I imagine, it. just imagine them interacting with like Janelle and Brittany and Rachel and Melissa and Corinne and Eliza. Like that would have been fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, yeah. we get to the they go to the Gibson, yeah. Gibson garage. I'm sorry, you are. Oh, you're you good. Okay, so they go to the Gibson Garage, the home of where the best guitars are made and the unsold, and because they're literally all the best. Uh -huh. And and um, so they go to the garage. They meet the girls. They get the, their next clue, and then they're off to deliver three guitars to three different bars on the strip of nightclubs in New in Nashville. It's yeah, I, I, specifically I kinda... being. Tootsie's Orchard Lounge, the Whiskey Bent Saloon, and the Wild Horse Saloon. Which yes. <laughs> they're they're saloon. Right. Love it. But they're they're are three uh three uh bar. This is what I have to say. I noticed this about Tennessee, which I come to really enjoy because I've been to Nashville and I've been to Memphis, and both cities are the bigger cities in Tennessee. Both mm -hmm. cities are known for their music. Both cities have this strip mm -hmm. of just bars and nightclubs that live music is played. Mm -hmm. You go walk down the street and walk in and out of bars and hear some great country music if you're a country fan. And a lot of other music, because a lot of music, it's not just country music in Nashville at these bars. So a lot of these bars have a lot of different genres of music. You could just walk down the street. It's like New Orleans and Bourbon Street. You just walk down yeah. the street. Yeah. You got your drink in your hand. You go from one bar to the next. You get this live band and then this live band and then this live band. Several genres. It's That's a fun time. I think that's a fun mm -hmm. time if you just enjoy live music. And so that's something I really, I just like that atmosphere. Bourbon Street is a great atmosphere when it's good 
uh, Memphis, Broad Street, and uh, well, Broad, those streets and whatever it is in Nashville, those are that's just a fun time. I I think anybody who enjoys live music, what whatever, like if, even if you're not a country fan, just live music is something totally different. When you see so a band live, it's amazing. Even if you don't like that genre of music, it's just something about a live band. You like this is nice. This is nice. So. Just a fun fact about Tennessee and their yeah. streets of bars and stuff. But yeah, they have to go deliver these guitars to these three different bars, get their wristbands. Bam. My, and, go ahead. I was going to say, my favorite moment of this episode is when Derek and Claire, they get there first and they get their guitars and they leave. And Claire's like, right, 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 Derek, right. And he's like, no, it's this oh. way. And she's like, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I just love anybody who's so confidently wrong but doesn't realize it. Like that for me, I was just like, I was like, Claire, my love, my dearest Claire, if we've learned anything from this race, it's that you are not the best with directions. <laughs> so. Also, what I loved in this moment was watching okay. Claire go through the crowded streets. It's like, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, we're on a race, move, move. I have to me. pull off these guitars for a million dollars. Valid. Everyone's like, hi, I'm in a race for a million dollars, move. I don't care how many drinks you've had. Get out of my face. Because I feel like they did this purposely on a weekend where the streets were so crowded with I was like, tourists. I was like, I was like, like, when we... Go ahead, Jack. I love how this whole season, it's been like, yeah, we've had so many issues due to COVID. Anyway, here's our crowd to walk through. My anxiety, I was just like, oh, so we're going to do minimal human interaction for the whole season. And then when this episode started, I was like, are they starting like early in the morning? Like, I couldn't tell. Because at first, the dusk, I thought, looked like sunrise. And so I was like, no, oh, we're just climbing. Because that's typically what happens. And then as it starts getting darker, I'm like, why are we doing this in the middle of the night? Oh, I see. There we go. I um, get it now. Also, we, I, think, we, I think the shot of the bridge lit up with the that, red and yellow. That was definitely intended. That that's what I was about to say. I, that's what I was about to say. They needed the night drop of Nashville to make this scene because how else are they going to just deliver these guitars on a, to a bar? It's not open. It's not nothing is open during the day on the a street. Tuesday afternoon. On a Tuesday afternoon no. where nobody's walking the streets. No, this had to be done on a weekend at oh, night. Yeah. When the bars are open and hopping and people are everywhere, uh-huh. welcome to America, folks. We don't think COVID is happening anymore. We don't care. Nope. We're we're all look. We're back to normal over here. Sorry, somebody everybody. had to say it. I'm just saying because <laughs> they they even masked up during points of the season, and then mm-hmm. during the one moment where it, everyone should be masked up, it just isn't. It just needs it. America. <laughs> I love it here. I love it here. Uh, Anyway, you are hearing this uh, as it's going live. Uh, Because of everything happening in the world, please also now mask up, especially since we are having COVID, the flu, and other related uh, illnesses coming back up because it's the holiday season. The flu is bad this year. I had it. You don't want it. You don't want it. Yeah, the but, definitely so, but anyway. so all of the all of the teams get through this pretty quickly. Like they're all they're all it's it's a fairly simple task. But so we got uh Derek and Claire finish first. We're headed to the the Nashville Auditorium. Is that what it was called? Uh mm-hmm. it is the Nashville, Nashville Municipal. Municipal Auditorium. Yep. And so this I I just have to jump in here and say this is my favorite final challenge that I have seen in a very long time on The Amazing Race. I not, loved this final challenge. Not only was it a beautiful tribute to the show itself, but also 
I mean, it's so simple in concept. It is mm -hmm. memory, but it's not just memory. It is also mm -hmm. timing. And, and I, it just worked out. It's a really, really beautiful task. And I believe at the time that they filmed, this was in 2021, um, I believe. So it would have been the 20-year anniversary of the theme song being created, which is incredible. Yes. Um, <coughs> I will say um, this. I enjoyed how they did it. I love the setup. I love that when they came in, they had the orchestra playing the theme song for them. It's like their theme music. Like yes. every wrestling fan or anybody who's watched a boxing uh -huh. match where you can come down the ramp and the music is playing and you're like, uh -huh. I got my own theme music. That was so beautiful. And it was also a clue to what they were going to be doing in the task, but they didn't know that. It was just, they yeah. just think it's just their theme music, you know, playing as they come in mm -hmm. to alert that their their arrival. Yeah. And it was beautiful. I enjoyed that so much. Yeah. And as a music person, seeing a big piano, I was like, oh, okay. I think yeah, the only the it. only thing that could have made this more Nashville is if we were doing this on a guitar. But I feel like that's really like a like a guitar on the ground. I feel like that's too difficult to do. So I did love the the piano moment. So we come in, final challenge. You have to find the keys on this uh floor keyboard um that correspond to eleven moments from the season, from where they went. It's always a memory challenge. There's always a visual aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have to play them in order in 11 seconds. So it is timing, it's coordination, while also being not only memory of the season, but also memory of what keys. And yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, if you're a piano player, like if I took my sister along with me on this task. Nisha would slay this. <laughs> She would have slayed it because I would have remembered the pictures and she would have remembered the keys. And it's like, yeah. okay. And so it's as I'm like, okay, we did that. Well, she's like, okay, that's C, C, D, B, A, D, Z, C. You know, she was just remember, you just have to remember the pattern of what you did it. And I'm like, 11 seconds is a short time. That's, that's very quick. But yeah. if you just remember and you know the keys, you're like, okay, C, B, D, C, D, A, B, you know, it would have mm -hmm. been so much fun, but I enjoyed watching this, and she was sitting here watching it with me, by the way, and she was like, oh, oh, yeah, was, she was like, oh, yeah, I could just do that, just F, G, B, C, D, mm -hmm. A, B, C, I was like, why uh -huh. couldn't we be on Amazing Race this season and make <laughs> right. it to the end? Yeah. We would have had a million dollars. <laughs> and I loved how close it was, too, because Derek and Claire get there first. Emily and Molly get there shortly after, and Lewis and Michelle make it there. Oh, they oh Lewis and Michelle, and then Emily and Molly because again they got lost. But yeah, I, it was so close. The suspense, the oh. intrigue, the oh. the anticipation. We're like, okay, who's getting it first? Oh yeah. dear God, who's getting it first? Because it could have gone either way. It could have gone, gone any way. Emily, Emily and Molly, even though they got there kind of late, were very much on pace, and it was liter it was down to the wire. I and I think it's like not gotten lost. I think, I think, yeah. and let's oh, just wait. let's just go out and say it because we wait, need wait, to wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, hold on, hold on. we need to get it together. Wait, so hold on, because if they, I, I was very much sitting there like. Is what we predicted going to happen this yep. week? Is this because we said if they get to that final Fair. and other people are there, they have a strong chance of winning because they yep. pay attention to details. Yep. And that could have happened, but they just kept getting lost. And one funny moment when Molly and Emily went and asked that boy if he could use his phone, they phone and he was looking at them like, what? And they were like, like we're at four million dollars. And they were like, he was like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> they're like, but look, okay, sorry, I'm just gonna have to go there. That was a cultural thing. Sure. Black people, when people of other races, white people, Asian people, anybody uh -huh. come running to you, like, hey, 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 can I use your phone? You're like, mm -hmm. why? 
Why? Why? Yeah. yeah. You I, set I think... me up. You set me up. What is? Are you a narc? What was happening? So I'm. I'm sorry. That's just a cultural thing. And uh, I, I was like, I felt him in that moment when he did it. But I thought it was <laughs> yeah. hilarious. I thought it was sure. hilarious because I'd be like, oh, I, I, yeah. I think it is also like just the natural like. Okay, wait. Slow down. Who? What? You're gonna need me. You're gonna need to get me more details. Then give me your phone now. I right, think it was I more so. <laughs> I, I think it was more so. Also, like, why is there a phone crew? A and B. Why don't you have a phone? Exactly. That. Like, anybody? It's like, like it is 2022. Where's your phone? Everybody got a lot you- with the producer. <laughs> That's where it is. And see, and I think it was the film crew that cut them off. That that look, uh-huh. we're all seeing cheaters and all these shows, cops and stuff, where folks with uh-huh. film crews run up. Nothing good comes from that. So, <laughs> and then he was like, out. "Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, sure." And it did not but, play well in Emily and Molly's hands at all. But I, I love that funny. moment too. It was, it was kind of funny, but, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think if they didn't get lost, if they would have came in their second. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. If they wouldn't have got lost going to the bridge, if they would have finished yeah. the bridge, if they didn't yeah. get lost again once they left the bridge, I think they could have really gotten there, and it would have been much, much, much even closer, even closer than, than it already was. was. Yeah. yeah. So, but, yeah. so now we can talk about that. Yes. Let's so go. we, so so Derek and Claire get it first, and I'm like, oh my god, it's it might happen, and so they leave. And then, presumably, moments later, Emily mm-hmm. and Molly get it. And I'm like, suspense, intrigue. I don't know what's going to happen. The thing is, the thing is, and and they brought it up themselves. Mm-hmm. Emily and Molly cannot win a foot race. They yeah. just no. can't. No. Which, I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. Uh, we, we said it throughout basically the <laughs> entire season. Any team at this point, we would have been happy with winning because yeah. they are all amazing, amazing, amazing. teams. Mm-hmm. So it was simply just finding out who won. And the first people to enter the Ryman Theater and cross the finish line, one of them randomly with a bloody nose, is Derek and Claire. They won! <laughs> I mean, the Big Brother streak is continuing, people. This is the uh, yeah. second second team from Amazing from Big Brother to win. Yes, the second team third, from Big. Third was it the third? Third? No, Who wait, was... nope, second. Never mind. Brandon yeah, and Rachel did not win. They did not win. They did they... not win. Second team. Yeah, the yeah. other ones. I don't want to acknowledge them, but they won. I mean, look, uh, I was rooting for them on the race, so they won. I I was rooting for them on. I remember watching that season. I, rem, I, I was, was rooting, rooting for, for them in the race before I was figuring out Jeff. who they really were. Um, but anyway, this is. Uh, let's just let's just say this is the first team to have won, and we're from Big Brother, and we're dating, uh, because that feels right. Sure. Um, I will not not. I am not going to disavow <laughs> their win and yeah. dismiss them or their relationship because they are still married and they are still mm. together, which proves that there's longevity in them. Even if you don't like the man, she liked I the don't. man. So, I don't. But she liked the man, and I was rooting sure. for her, and so yeah. that's her choice. They won. We won't take away their victory. But Derek and Claire also... Have, they just killed it. And this is the thing. And I really like this about Big Brother um, couples going on this show and winning this race. It's because they have a thing. Like, even the couples, the people on Big Brother who didn't win, they've lived together. Like, Brendan and Rachel did really, really well in this race. They made it to the finals, I think. I thought yeah. they got fourth. Maybe. Maybe they didn't. But I'm looking at they've. Up. They've lived together. They've done this whole thing together. So they know how to, even if they disagree, they know how to f- focus on the task at hand. Like in the house, they if they weren't together in the house, they know what they they knew what their mission was. They weren't going to throw their whole game away for each other in the house. They knew what the mission was to do, it was to win the game. And they none of them have won the game on the race except Rachel. 
right now. <laughs> have been on the way. Uh, is for for context, they uh, got third both times they competed. Rachel, Brendan, Rachel. Yeah. Oh, see, so they made yeah. it to the finale. Yeah, they were on. They were on season twenty, and then they were on All Stars. I forgot that they were on All Stars, but yeah, right. third so, both third both times they competed. So that's what I'm saying. These couples have longevity and they come in this race and they know what they have to do to win the race. They played a game before they got that game mentality. And so I enjoy watching big brother players on the show. I hope we have another big brother couple come on the show soon. Um, yep. I'm putting that out there. We know who I'm talking about. I know we want a jailer couple on the amazing race. Do I think they'll win? I don't know. Cause Joseph. Uh, yes, little- they will. Um, I will not Period. accept any reality. They will win. I would, li- I would like Taylor to have won $1.3 million from CBS. Thank you very much. I, 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 I am at the point where any black woman taking any money from CBS is a must and a plus. So yep. take all the money, all the coins from CBS yep. to all the black women uh, on whoever comes on any show. Yep. So, yeah, I'm here for a jailer. Or even if it's not Jailer, because Taylor said she might even take Michael, which I think is a, a, I think might be smarter, honestly. I, 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 I hate have, to say it, but you're absolutely right. I wouldn't be look, I think her with Michael would be dangerous on this Fair. race for anybody else. Good job, yes. Kennedy. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, I I I think her and J- her and Joseph would be fun. I think they'll have a great time together. It'll be an experience. But I think if they want to win, if she wants to win, win, she takes Michael. Yeah. <laughs> but Joseph could do some stuff. But I, I think want to see Joseph on, back on my TV on again, challenge. just to look at him. I, I think Joseph would be great on the challenge. I think Joseph would do better on the challenge than I, I think agree. he would do on Amazing Race because I think he gets too distracted. To do amazing race, he, he and there is one, there's one very very important note. We just have to thank a false positive COVID test for all of this occurring. A false positive. Thank you. Thank woman. you, woman. I don't want to acknowledge her because I don't like her personally. But... <laughs> I just and I my favorite thing to come from this finale honestly, was a response that Tiffany made on Instagram where someone asked in a QA and a how she felt and her reply, paraphrasing, her reply was, it's just karma for them being great people. And mm-hmm. like, honestly, I just, I love that because it, I, it really does feel like it, honestly. Like, the cookout, doing what the cookout did, I'm so happy that at the very least now, Derek and Claire also have something that they can latch on to from that yeah. season. Like, and I, I hope, the really the only other person from that season that I hope gets something monumental out of things, honestly, is Alyssa. I want to I wanna, I wanna see Alyssa on the challenge, and I think Alyssa would do great on a regular season of the challenge. But regardless, the people that I loved from BB23 all got something in the end. And I'm happy I mean, to see this- I, I, I agree. I think the cookout had to be that had to happen the way it happened in order for some things to happen. And so I hope I'm very happy. I was happy. I'm happy for Derek and Claire because I feel like they did get a raw end of the deal with being on the season when something like the yeah. cookout had to happen. I think Derek probably could have won that season if it wasn't for the cookout being formed for the mission that they were on and did he had a really good chance because he's yeah, just a yeah. good person. And yeah. but also I feel like them doing the amazing race made it better reput- Derek's better reputation better from when he was on the challenge. Because yeah, I okay. felt him and Alyssa on the challenge played themselves for fools. They played okay. themselves for fools on it, the challenge. And we don't know. Uh, it, it, it was unnecessary. It was a nightmare. It was unnecessary for how they were acting because you can't say one thing on the show and then get on the next show and be like, I want revenge because they did me dirty. And it's yeah. like, 
did they or did they just outplay you? No, they just outplayed you. And you should take the, I, I just got played, y'all. It is what it is. And you move on. Don't go on yeah. the next show like, I got to get revenge because that's not a good look for y'all. That didn't look good for them. So I think Derek needed this amazing race when to get back in standing, rest like with me or people like me who felt like that was out of pocket on the challenge. But I will root for you because I think you showed yourself better this time around. But yeah, I I, I think I'm glad he got what he he got oh, that win that he was mm-hmm. itching for. And I'm glad that Claire got that win because I feel like Claire out of everybody felt the most because not only did she get taken out, but she got taken out by the person who was her number one. Like Tiffany had to be the one to take her out, which sucked because it's and, like I. Tr- oh, go ahead, go ahead. She's like, because I trusted her the most, and she was the one who had to take me out. Yeah. I felt like she. I I felt like she got, and she was an alternate. Like come through alternates, like. Alternates lately have been the best thing that ever happened to these shows. BB25, whoever is an alternate on BB25, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them. Whoever the alternate ends up being, rooting for them. Rooting for them. I mean, mean, simply put, there, there is something magical about, like, there, there's, just something so amazing about how uh, a lot of, well, I say a lot, but there are some hard, hard exceptions. A lot of the people who go on from Big Brother 23 and Big Brother 24, how uh, the people that continue to move on and then go on other reality shows, there's something so amazing about how they're doing and the light that they're bringing to all of these shows. And all I can say is just keep doing them and also stay on the right track record and don't do some dumb shit, please. I, I wouldn't say everyone from 24. I would say I there are say. a few people, but 23, sure. 23, right. absolutely. I mean, 23 it's was, like, yeah. It, it's two from 24. It's only two. Two and a half. Two, two and a half. Well, maybe three. If, I'll say three. If the, if, the, if the half is associated with Taylor, it's three. I'll say yeah. three. But, I'll say three. It's, sure. it's, it's, it's Taylor, Michael, and Joseph. Period. Those yeah. are the only people I care about from 24. That's the only people sure. I will ever need to see on my screen again from 24. But don't worry. You'll be seeing someone originally from 24 on our screens very shortly. Oh, do you not know? I'm not sure. I'm confident on who's being referenced. Uh, someone that didn't even make it on the show. <gasps> oh, that. Oh, Marvin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. From the circle. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll, we can talk about that off camera. We have, I have some. Anyway, I want to also acknowledge Emily and Molly getting second place. Emily Hello. and Molly getting place. second. I... Okay. They should have never been second. The way the trajectory no. of their day was going, no. they should have never been second. But Lewis and Michelle literally tanked at the last, the final challenge. Mm, they yeah. like Lewis didn't even realize that you could use the black keys. Like yeah. I'm like, you have never seen a piano oh, in your life honey. ever. Like the black I, keys I are. I don't notes. think he has. It's just, I... it's, even if you don't ever play an instrument, you have to know that you use the black keys on the piano. It's just, but yeah. He just it didn't know, and Ma- it was it was pain. It was just crazy to watch them flounder yeah. so much. Yeah. But Molly and Emily, like literally, the way they edited it, it looked like they were literally minutes behind Derek and Claire, Seemingly, which is very yeah. impressive. Yeah. Which is very impressive of the fact that they got lost twice and they still had a bad knee and yeah. had to run from the auditorium to the. Op- the Grand Old Opry. Did I not say that? We yes, said I did. It. We said it. And I said that's what that looked like mm-hmm. to me was the Grand Old Opry, and I was correct. That was what it was. Yeah. And yeah, I was just happy they- to see Glenda Lumumba back on my screen too. By the way, I just want to put that out there. I uh, was so oh, happy and- to see Abby and Will. Oh yes, they they got over COVID. Like, oh, they were back. Like, oh, yeah. God. Wonderful. They had, they- 
Look, they had to drive up 65 to get there. I love that for them. I know, right? I'm like, it's right there for them. It's literally um, two or three hours from there, but it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm also in in that sense, I'm also happy that I mean, if they were going to get removed from the race because of COVID, be it be it like earlier in the season where they can reasonably come back versus like oh yeah we had to remove someone at final five so they're gone they're just yeah. gone yeah. yeah I think Abby and Will deserve a chance to come back and fin- be able to complete sure. a race or a guild until they could until they get out yeah whatever normally. Way, the right way normally instead yeah. of because I mean let me, let me actually pull up now the full track record of the entire season <laughs> Um, they didn't. They didn't do all that great. They were. They were solidly middle in that moment mm-hmm. in time where most teams were solidly middle for the bulk of the race. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Derek and Claire at the end of the season ends up walking away with four leg wins, uh, which is very very nice. Yeah. Uh, if you include the final leg as a leg win, uh, and I mean. Uh, the only people that were going to potentially rival that were Lewis and Michelle, who had won three likes previously. So, I mean, yeah. as someone who stopped watching The Amazing Race, I want to say when I just entered college just because of time, I am so happy that I ended up signing up for this podcast and watched this season because... Yeah, no, uh, I definitely had tears streaming down my face, both when Derek and Claire and Emily and Molly checked in, yeah. because, I mean, just so, so genuine people. Yeah. Yeah, I I definitely agree. Yeah, I cried. I was like, oh my god. And my sister was like, are you crying? I was like, yes. 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 I this story crying. is so amazing. I started crying when Claire started crying, and I was like, no, not this. <laughs> not again. Not again. <laughs> I can't. I just, I'm so happy. This season, like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and say, Survivor has not ended. We still have one more episode of Survivor. I'm going to go ahead and say The Amazing Race of the CBS trilogy was the best season of the year. I don't think the Survivor finale can do anything to top just how wholesome, exciting, suspenseful, crazy this season of Amazing Race has been. Yeah. I will I will I will definitely say this season of Amazing Race has the best cast of people than ever any season of any show this year on CBS. Like yes. Yeah. These this group of people they put together were amazing people and I enjoyed every single one of them. Like if any of these teams would have won, I would have been happy for any of these right. teams. All 16 teams. Like all these teams rather, I would have been happy for all of any of them to win. There was not one team that I'm like if they win, I'm going to be mad to death. Right. Like yeah. it's, it's there was not a team that did that for me and that is very rare that is like that's never happened that's not even rare that's just never happened before for me on amazing race It's always that one team or that one person or that two Rough teams, teams. Just i'm never- sorry to bring it up <laughs> it's always yeah. that team that you like if they win yeah. mm, 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 i'm yeah. mad so i mean i'm there I'm very happy that I think this is the best. I feel very emotionally attached to this season. So I feel yeah. like out of the three seasons, out of the three tri- the trilogy on CBS, this one has me very much more in- invested emotionally. I think Taylor winning Big Brother is going to be the best the, the outcome. Highlight. Yeah. That best outcome for the three seasons. I don't care what happens on Survivor. Ain't nothing topping Taylor winning Big Brother. Oh, yeah. After, yeah, absolutely. That's not a, even in contention. Yeah, but emotionally investment, Amazing Race got it. Like, yeah. period. Hands down. Best cast, yeah. best emotionally invest, best suspense and editing. Every Hands down, they got that. And they just allegedly recently finished filming... 
season mm-hmm. 35. So we, yeah. you know, we will be here to talk about Amazing oh, Race 35. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? This is, absolutely. I mean, the entire casting department at CBS needs to note what happened here and move forward because this, I mean, the Amazing Race has always been on top of their casting when it came to representation and diversity. But not only did they smash that here, but they also got amazing, amazing teams. Nobody felt like filler. Every single team you could root for. And that is something that is incredibly hard to do. Yes. I was sad every week. When someone went home every single week. I do want to say as well, I find it incredibly funny and ironic that Claire has been on the other two shows in the CBS trilogy other than her favorite one. (laughs) And she won (laughs) this one. If you're not familiar with Derek and Claire, or specifically Claire uh, Pryor, she helped found the Survivor Michigan at the University of Michigan. Um... And Survivor is her favorite show. So the fact that she's been on Big Brother and then won Amazing Race, I'm just like, can we... I know she would be the biggest threat alive, but can we get her on Survivor, please? <laughs> everyone just it. everyone just looks and is like, what? That, what? Yeah, yeah. She, she, went, she would need to hope and wait a couple years to do Survivor that nobody remembers. It would, need to, be just, a, it, it would need to be what Amazing Race did like a few years ago. Uh, the reality clash kind of thing. The reality clash, which I yeah. want to see on both Survivor and Big Brother. I would love... The, Could the, you hard, the hard part with doing that is uh, trying to get that many people to uh, potentially risk their bodies... Because that's that's a consistent thing out of Survivor having like a lifelong effects of it. Obviously, sure. uh, it, the difficulty of getting that many people to do it, I think, would be the major issue. I don't think it'd be that difficult. Not Survivor, no. because this is the thing: so many Big Brother players want to play Survivor. Danielle yeah. Reyes is begging to play Survivor, I and just like. Scream. Just like Sari Fields is begging to play Big Brother, which I'm yeah. like, y'all, if we don't see what is going on and we need to make this happen, Joseph said he wanted to play Survivor. I think he would lose because he would, that will take a toll on his body. He just needs to eat, but he wants to do it. And I'm like, let him yeah. do it. Um, so many yeah. people want to play Survivor. If they give the chance to do it, I just think Survivor needs to reach out to some of these people on C on this in the CBS family and see because I'm sure it's a lot of people on Amazing Race who would love to play Survivor. They just need to reach out. And you not- now, and now that CBS is under Viacom and Viacom has so many more shows, it's a lot of MTV people who would love to play Survivor. And I'm like, let them play Survivor, man. You imagine Lewis playing Survivor or Big Brother, like, I feel like he would do yes. so well on yep. either, I feel like uh, either Emily or Molly, M- Sam's injury for in Emily's case, I feel like yes. either one of them would do so well on Big Brother. Like, I, I, like, I think of, like, Team Fun as well. Either mm-hmm. of them, on, like, a Survivor or Big Brother, like, that would be incredible. I think of, like, honestly, Kayla or Raquel from last season of Amazing Race. I think we saw Kayla do pretty decently on the challenge. I think she could do so well in a Big Brother house. Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm just I'm just trying to think through the exact connections that we've had. So we've had Survivor to both. Have we had Survivor to Big Brother and Amazing no. Race? No. We've had. We have, we've had We've had Big Brother and Survivor to Amazing Race, and I don't think we've made any of the other connections. No, we definitely tribe. have. Amazing Race to Big Brother was season Yeah, we had 17. Amazing Race to Big Brother. Yeah, yeah we had uh, Amazing then, Race to Big Brother. We've not and had a we've Survivor had, on. Yeah. And oh, yes, then we have. Yes, we have. We've had, uh, we've had Big Brother on Survivor with 
Caleb yes. oh, and Caleb. Aiden. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, Aiden, Caleb. Oh, I yes. forgot about both of them. <laughs> we had Aiden Race on Big Brother. We had Survivor on Big Brother. We have not. We've had, had Big Brother and Survivor on Amazing Race. We have we not, have not had, had Amazing Race to Survivor. Yes. N- right, right. Amazing Race to Survivor. Yeah, which I mean, and now we have Amazing Race and Big Brother and Survivor to the challenge. So, mm-hmm. it, I well, just think, there's, there's a lot of I, connections. And I, like I said, Viacom is under a very big umbrella and a lot of shows can come together to do some things. So I just feel like we need to go on and make a survivor reality mumble jumble thing and put them in that island for a month and see what happens. (laughs) For a month, a whole month. Could you imagine a universe where Danielle Reyes... And you, because you know when they do that, they would ask Sandra. Oh, they could would. you imagine Danielle Reyes, Sari Fields, and Sandra Diaz Twine on the same season? I don't think I'd be able to function. I, I would, would be, not. I would. No, no function. I would die. No. I would I... literally die. And I would, I, 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 this, yeah, this is me the whole season. Uh-huh, yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. could you imagine Sandra and Danielle either teaming up together or going after each other? Oh my god! Because first of all, Danielle go win challenge. Sandra ain't go win because Sandra's like, I don't win challenges. That's not my thing. But what I will do is cause some chaos in this camp. I promise you that. And Danielle's like, okay, I'm gonna cause some chaos and I'm gonna win. And I'm <sighs> y'all. Oh, I was CBS I was man. gonna say I was gonna say I don't think Sari and Sandra have been on the same season, but that's a lie. Mm. Were they not both on Game Changers? I think they were. Uh, I I want to say yes. Yes, was that, one of, right that, that was one of that was one of Sandra's day fourteen eliminations. Yes, that was one of her, her first day. 14 her first. Elimination. Yes. Um yeah, and then Sari got Sari got Sarid. Sari got Sarid in that season along yeah. with some other things that aren't nearly as fun. CBS make but. this happen. Thank you very much. Anyway. Thank you. Anyway. Hi. So there we have it. We had a great finale. Louis and Michelle, of course, comes in third. Well, by the way. Love and them. Love, love them. them. Love such, them. such an amazing couple. They they oh. I mean they were kind of the narrators for the season. Uh, yeah, mega leg. I mean, mega leg. come on. I, now. First of all, Lewis and Michelle are couple goals as well because that man loves that woman, and mm-hmm. he, that woman loves that man, and they have they were supporting each other even when they were messing up. There was no. That was stupid. You're dumb. That, oh. No, it was like, no, babe, we got this. Let's do it. We got it. No, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't cry. We got it. The support. I, I love a good, supportive couple. I just mm-hmm. love supportive couples on this show because it's like, you are a team. You yelling at somebody and making them feel bad for making a mistake is never going to help them you know, with the next part of this race, they need your support. They need your backup. They need your, you know, your stability. If they losing it, they need you to be the rock. Both of y'all can't be losing it. So I just love that about them. And Lewis was also nice to look at. Respectfully, Michelle. Respectfully. Respectfully. He was, very, he was nice to look at. I was very happy to see that. And I will never forget the way he broke that ice at that run roadblock. Ugh. In two and on that note, right. <laughs> that's the perfect note to end on. Thank you for joining us for a season of Amazing Race. We're here covering all your favorite reality shows. And if we're not covering your favorite reality show, let us know and we might. Uh, subscribe, like, know. share, tweet. And we might cover it with you. Is that part. Subscribe, like, share, tweet, follow, comment, share, uh, algorithm. Okay. Woo, cheers. <laughs> if you are looking for something after this, uh, Australian Survivor is coming up in 
Oh God, I think it is like a, nearly a month at this point. Uh, we are finishing up Survivor tomorrow, and uh, I think uh, also Junior Eurovision is starting. Has started. It's happening. It's happening the day. Uh, the day after this is being recorded. Uh, I don't. I don't know much about it. Anyway, thank you all for being here. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 Bye